Welcome to Splays Meter Did You Know session. In this session, we're going to talk about how we can make a CSV a smart CSV. And what we mean by that is how can we combine static data in a CSV file with dynamic data that can be synthetically generated. This allows you to actually be very flexible in having a CSV file that has that great static data that you need, but you can augment it with data that may be relevant for perhaps at runtime, you need a date based on the date of the test. There's lots of other examples. We're going to show you how we can do that. So first we need a test, and here's our JMeter test. We've got a couple of CSV files associated. And if you look at the definition here, uh, this contains the name of the CSV file, the variable names that would match the data in our CSV, and obviously we'd use these variable names within the JMeter script when we create the test. So the next step is to take this JMeter file and load it into BlazeMeter. So we're in BlazeMeter, and what we now need to do is obviously import that JMX we just looked at into a performance test. So we've created a performance test. We click the upload script. We select that JMX we just looked at, as well as the two CSV files, and we import those into BlazeMeter. Now, as part of that import process, what we're doing is we're validating that the JMX is correct and also identifying any CSV files that are associated with the script. And in the test data panel, we can see there's the two CSV files. And if I extend that, see the CSV file, we can see these are the columns. And also we can then look at the edit the CSV to actually look at the data. So it's the data from the CSV file we just imported. Now for our test we're about to run, we actually need the date of birth to be for individuals that are between the age of 18 and 21 on the day we run the test. And as you can see, this date is, is not fit for purpose. So what we're going to do is rename this column that's in the CSV file, just call it date of birth old. We're going to add a new parameter called date of birth. And then we're going to use a function to generate the date of birth that we need. So if we click on the function button here, this shows us all the functions. And we can just use a search function to find all the date ranged functions. And as you can see, we've got one called date of birth. And if I expand the help file, we can see that it's called date of birth. We need to define the minimum age, the maximum age, and the date we want to use for the actual um, when that date of birth would be around. So let's add this to our parameter. We're going to set that minimum age first. So that's our 18. The second variable is 21. And then the final one is this date string. So we're going to use the now function. So we just say now. And what this means is at runtime, we will take the date the test is running and then calculate the dates of birth for users that will be 1821 on that particular day. If I click preview, we can preview that data. Now, if I look at the data settings, we can again look at our CSV file, but now combined with that synthetic data. So as you can see over here, this is the new synthetic data, which is the data we need. Now this is valid users between 18 and 21, but we've still got the old data that we might need to use at some point. Now, you may have remembered at the start when we had that JMX, there actually was another column in there in the JMX that we related to, which was called last three months. And we need to add that also to our data model. So we're going to add another parameter. We're going to call it last three months. Now, what we actually want here is to calculate um, a random value. So we want to go back up to three months. So either go back one month, two months, or three months. So we can use a function that we have called add months, as you can see here. Now that add months actually means you can actually go forward or backwards. So if we look at the explanation here, as you can see, we have add months, we have the date, and then which way you want to go forward or backwards. So we're going to add this to our example. Now the first thing we need is obviously we're going to use now again because then it'll be based on when the test actually ran. And also we need to know um, the offset. So we could just do minus one like so and what that will give us is the previous month. Or we can actually combine these functions. So instead of a minus one we're going to use a second function and that second function is our 
rand int and the value is one to three we delete that one there so what we're saying is we want, we want a random integer between one and three and now what we get is instead of just going back one month we might go back one month two months or three months so if we go and look at our our data settings what we now see is again the right hand side is our static data from the csv this is that new data we just added and we're getting here as you can see you know, a random selection of either one month two months or three months previously as well as our date of birth so this shows how we can combine these multiple synthetic generation rules together with our static csv file so what I've just shown is how we can combine static CSV data with synthetic data, allowing us to improve the quality of our test data. So please go to blazemeet.com and sign up today to start testing. We also have lots of free courses at Blazemeet University. Thank you.